This battle was epic. It was a real back and forth and it came so close right down to the wire and it all laid on Azumarill. Could Azumarill pull this back for us? That is the real question. Can Azumarill pull this back for us? Let's find out. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we have a battle versus Dom. He's a randomer and we're playing in the OU tier. Go ahead and join the Discord server. It's the best place to go for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battles right now. There is a link in the description down below. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And with that being said, let's jump into the team preview. Okay, Dom has brought some fire. He's got the Armor Rouge, King Gambit, Roaring Moon, the Garganachi, Pormot, which is always nice to see. And the Hisuian Zoroark. So we've got to watch out for the Hisuian Zoroark, of course. I think I'm probably safer leading off with the Dragapult, going for that nice and powerful fast U-turn. And then we can just kind of deal with whatever comes in uh, accordingly. And um, we outspeed the Zoroark, no problem. I don't think Choice, Choice Scarf Zoroark's really a thing. So we don't have to worry about that too much. Um, yeah, let's just go from there. And the battle begins, so Dom over there is going to lead off with whatever that is, which is going to be the Garganachi, nice and shiny. We led off with the Dragapult, so obviously we've got a perfect switch in here. We've got the uh, Goldengo, so I'm going to U-turn right off the bat just in case they switch out as well, and I want to take a Draco Meteor to the face. U-turn does a lot of damage, which is interesting, so I'm going to guess they're specially defensive. And I'm going to go into a Goldengo anyway, because we do have the Covert Cloak, which gives us an immunity to the uh, Salt Cure secondary effect. So we're going to Monopoly Man over here. There we go. Goldengo comes in. They do go for a Stealth Rock, which is to be expected. Stealth Rocks are up on our side of the field. We've got to watch out for that. Um, stealth Rocks are always a pain to deal with. Um, what we can do now is we could go straight for a Make It Rain. They don't really have a good switch into Make It Rain other than the King Gambit. So I would assume they will go into Make a King Gambit right now. Or they'll terrestrialize one of the two. So let's go for the Make It Rain and see what happens. Make It Rain comes through. They actually stay in. And they just die. So we got rid of the Garganacle pretty easily there. Pretty awesome. So Garganachi goes down. Garganachi goes down. Now we are easily revenge killed by something else though. Like the Roaring Moon or the King Gambit. In comes whatever that is. I don't know the names of these Pokemon. Armor Rouge comes in. Nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. With the blue eyes. Um, we do have a good switch. We have Azum Azumarill. Um, Azumarill is definitely a good switch. They could have Energy Ball, of course. And um, we also have the Umbreon as well, if we really want to. Um, I'm thinking about which one's the safer bet. Probably the Azumarill. I think they do go for a Armor Cannon right now to try and get the damage off on something. So um, we'll go into Azumarill real quick. There we go. Go into Water. 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 They could also be the Zoroark, but, you know, we'll, we'll find out shortly. Uh, Armor Cannon comes through. Definitely not a Zoroark. As that's going to blow my Azumarill away. Not really. Um, now this thing is susceptible to our attacks. Um, we can definitely attack you with a Liquidation. I'm looking at their team and I'm thinking not a lot wants to switch into a Liquidation here. Um, maybe the Roaring Moon. But I don't know what they're going to do here. So let's go for the Liquidation. They do withdraw the Armor Rouge. What are they going to go into? That is the real question. What are they going to go into? The Hiccup, which is the Peldea Champion. It's going to be the Roaring Moon. Fair enough, that's a good switch. Um, let's see how well it takes a uh, Liquidation though, because it doesn't have the best defense in the world. Protosynthesis is going to boost his attack, which is scary. We go for the Liquidation, of course. Does a decent chunk of damage, to be fair. Um, no defense drop though, which is unfortunate, but what can you do about that? Um, now our best switch is probably going to be the Don Fan, so I'm going to go straight into the Don Fan. Um, there, the, we know this thing's not the Zoroark because it's popped a booster energy, of course, so that's, that's good to know. We're going to the Dom fan though, and hopefully we can eat a hit from this thing, no problem. So, we'll see what it's going to do. So, they're going to terrestrialize right off the bat. Oh, what are they going to be? Are they going to be, um... they going to be flying? Fairy. Fairy's a fair one. So, the, the Terra Fairy variant of the Roaring Moon, which is fair enough. Are they going to go for a Dragon Dance? Do they go for an Iron Head? Trying to get that super... Well, not super effective, but they're trying to get that damage off. Doesn't work out nicely for him as he gets some nice and powerful, um, what do you call it? Uh, I, I feel like they're going to go into the Zoroark to block the Rapid Spin, so I'm going to go for an EQ right now. I don't think they stay in here. If they do stay in, there's something wrong with them. They do withdraw. Are they going to go into the Zoroark to block the Rapid Spin? That's the real question. That's the only thing that can switch in. Everything else takes super effective damage. Armor Rouge comes in. Nice and shiny. We go for an EQ. Let's see how much damage it does. Super effective damage as well, which is good to know. And they are weak armor, which is bad. Pretty terrifying, to be honest with you. Pretty terrifying. So, terrifying stuff right there. And it turns out that weakness policy as well, which is just 
ridiculous. <laughs> just ridiculous. That's just ridiculous right now. So, um, I don't want to lose Donvan because it's good for the Roaring Moon and the King Gambit. Um, and the Poor Mutt. Kind of want to just like... They're, they're probably going to go for an Armor Cannon here. Or they go for an Energy Ball. One of the two. Um, I think... I think our best bet is Azumarill, so I'm going to go into Azumarill. I think they go for an Armor Cannon. Stab is just better in general. Um, Energy Ball, obviously, is more exploitable for my team. I can go into Gold Dengo, something like that. Um, let's see what they do here. Let's see if they go for the Energy Ball or not. Um, they go for the Armor Cannon. We should be able to sponge this hit, no problem. We do sponge it like an absolute champ, which is great. So Azumarill is coming, coming through for us right now. Um, we definitely go for an Aqua Jet here. Just to try and pick this thing off. There we go. Aquajet comes through. Takes out the Armourouge, which is nice and powerful. There we go. So, Armourouge was a threat, but not anymore, which is great. In comes Ishin, which is going to be the King Gambit. So, King Gambit comes in. Um, we are afraid of the King Gambit. I feel like I can use Aquajet for later on down the line. So, I'm going to go ahead and go into Donphan real quick. I feel like Donphan's a good one. They could be the Zoroark, for all we know. We haven't seen Supreme Overlord activate, so... Could very well be the Zoroark. If it is the Zoroark and we lose the Dom fan, so be it. What can we do about that? We've already lost it. So they go for a bit of Malice. That's definitely the Zoroark. We do eat it all like an absolute champ though, which is great. And that does lower our attack, unfortunately. So Stealth Rocks are up for good, unfortunately. No, they're not really. We can just go into our uh, Umbreon real quick. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go straight into Umbreon. Now that we know it's the Zoroark and it's probably not locked in because that wasn't enough damage. So it's probably not choice specs. It's probably like... Um, Focus Ash or something along those lines. So let's see what they do here. Let's see what they do. So they're going to go for a Nasty Plot. Nasty Plot is terrifying. I just hope they're not Focus Blast. If they're Focus Blast, we're kind of boned. We are kind of boned. Well, not really boned, but like, well, we're, yeah, we are. Um, <laughs> we are kind of boned. So I'm going to go for a Yawn right now. Um, they go for a Flamethrower, which is good to know the Flamethrower and not Focus Blast. And um, we go for a Yawn. Putting them to sleep the next turn is going to be really useful for stopping the nasty plot spread. Um, and the next turn, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a wish just to see if we can wish pass onto our Don fan. So let's go ahead and go for a wish real quick. They do withdraw. They don't want to get it put to sleep, which is fair enough. Um, it's probably Focus Sash variant, and they go into Poor Mot. So Poor Mot comes in. Poor Mot comes in. And now we're probably going to see some Revival Blessing right now. Probably going to see some Revival Blessing. Um, which is fair. Revival Blessing works out for them nicely. Um, but what I'm going to do is, assuming they're going to go for a Revival Blessing, I'm going to get Donphan back in action. Get Donphan some health back. Um, Donphan needs the health. And we can just go for a Rapid Spin if we want to. But I'm leaning more towards Earthquake because Earthquake hits everything on their team for really good damage. Donphan once again putting in the work. Watch it go down right now. Close combat. Yep. We lose Donphan. <laughs> Donphan putting in the work. Fates. <laughs> it is what it is, though. And um, we did lose Donphan. That was probably our only opportunity of getting that wish over to it, but it's whatever. Um, as we do break potential focus ash with a rocky helmet, so Donphan's efforts were not necessarily in vain. Um, now, 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 we go into. Oh, what do we go into here? Probably Dragapult, right? I think Dragapult's the best bet. So we'll go Dragapult real quick. There we go. Dragapult comes in. Um, luckily, Azumarill has enough health to live a, uh, a Stealth Rock, so we can definitely get an uh, Aqua Jet off later on down the line on something along the lines of the uh, Zoroark. Um, so next, we're going to have to choose. Do we go for a Shadow Ball or do we go for a Draco Meteor? Or do we go for a U-Turn? I think, I think Draco Meteor is probably better. I can see them bringing Zoroark in here um, to try and absorb a Shadow Ball because Draco Meteor... They either go into Roaring Moon or, or, or Zoroark, one of the two, um, to counter one of our stabs. So I guess we're going to have to make a choice. Um, we could go for Flamethrower, to be fair. We could go for Flamethrower, to be fair. Um, that would hit both, but what if they stay in? Let's go for the Draco. Let's go for the Draco. They do withdraw. What are they going to withdraw into? The Zoroark or King Gambit could come in, actually. Fair. Ishin comes in. That's the King Gambit. Ishin comes in. That's the King Gambit. Let's see if it is the King Gambit or not. Supreme Overlord. There it is. So we do, unfortunately, miss the Draco Meteor, which would have been nice damage on the King Gambit as well. What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? What can you do here, though? What can you really do? What can you do here? What can you really do here? So, thoughts that go into my head are uh, the nice and powerful Sliverwing. I feel like we could use that. Um, 
feel like we could use that for sure. Let's go into Sliverwing. I think Sliverwing switches in nicely here. If they go for a Sucker Punch, it's going to fail. If they go for a Kowto Cleave, or Kowto Cleave, Kowto Cleave, I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, we should be able to eat it up because Sliverwing has some nice natural bulk. Um, so let's see what they go for. Kowto Cleave comes through. Does a lot of damage to be fair. That's a lot of damage. Life Orb, Supreme Overlord boosted and everything. Oof. Oof. So. What do we do here? I think, I think, I think the best thing to do is to go for a close combat. Because I would rather risk the Sucker Punch KOings. But then again, we could get a free switch in with something else. What do we have though? Not a lot. We don't have a lot. Um, I guess we go for a close combat or we go for a first impression. First impression would hurt. I think we go for a close combat. I think they, I think they, yeah, we go for a close combat. There we go. That worked out nicely for us. So I think they probably thought we were going to over predict there. And I nearly did. I nearly did to be fair. I very nearly did. So King Gambit goes down, which is a big throw out of the way, which is great. Um, let's see what they go into to answer my sliver wing now. Paul Mott comes in. I don't know whether Paul Mott is the best switch here. I feel like we can use first impression for later. So what I'm going to do is expecting a um, either a double shock, a thunder punch, or a close combat potentially. Because close combat would still take, take us out. Um, thinking about what to do. Uh, I want to see if the Aqua Jet on water. I don't really need Umbreon for much. I think we sack Umbreon here. I think we sack Umbreon here. So we'll sack Umbreon real quick. We'll sack Umbreon real quick. And then we'll go into um, probably Dragapult. Go for a Draco Meteor or a Shadow Ball. One of the two. Um, let's see how this works out for us. So they go for a Revival Blessing. Oh, no. I could have gone for another Close Combat. Could have easily gone for another Close Combat there. So that's going to pop the Leper Berry probably. Ishin. Oh, no. They revived the King Gambit. That's not good. But they don't have a Leper Berry. So they've only got one Revival Blessing, which is great to know. Absolutely great to know. So um, what I'm going to do now is... I'm gonna go for that. I'm gonna go for the yawn, just in case we live. Dig, 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 dig. They've got dig. Why have they got dig? What is going on here? This was looking like a really cool game, and then they whip out the dig. <laughs> Why? You've got a close combat. Just slam me in the face of a close combat. We are Terra Ghost, so I guess I could have Terra Ghosted there, but there's no point because we're just gonna. Uh, uh, this is meant to be a sack. It's meant to be a sack right now. We go for a yawn real quick. Go for a yawn real quick. I need to remove that from my list. I always forget about the revival blessing. I've got to remove that from there. There we go. We'll put it over there. Um, I've got I've got a little screenshot of the team at the side of me, and I just like I I, I mark them off when I uh, get the KO. So it's whatever. Anyway, um, let's go for a dark pulse for some chip damage. Um, if we can finish this thing off with a flamethrower, that would be ideal. You go for a close combat, that's going to lower the defenses. We can now finish this thing off with a flamethrower, which is great. Um, because it means they haven't got a switch in. Um, thanks to the defense drop. So, Umbreon goes down, which is unfortunate. But what can you do about that? As down, they go to sleep, which is absolutely fantastic. So, Pormot does fall asleep. I kind of think, I thought they would switch out there, but I guess not. Um, we get a free switch in something else. So, uh, what I might do is... I'm going to go straight to Dragapult and go for a flamethrower. I think that's the best bet. Go to Dragapult, go Flamethrower. Go for Dragapult, go for Flamethrower. There we go. Flamethrower comes through. Should 2 it KO the Zoroark, but they don't switch out anyway. They let the Pormot go down, which is fair enough. So Pormot goes down. No more Revival Blessing shenanigans for you, which is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. In comes Ishin, the King Gam bit. So we've got a choice to make here. That's not the that's not the King Gambit for a start because they didn't get Supreme Overlord. <laughs> that's the Zoroark. So uh, we've got a choice to make, and it's basically down to what do we sack um, to a bit of malice right now. I think the best thing to do is probably to sack off the Goldengo because it loses to King Gambit, it loses to Zoroark, and it loses to Roaring Moon. Gets us a free switch in with something else. Um, like the sliver wing, for example. So we'll go Goldengo. We'll sack off Goldengo. Sack off Goldengo. The Monopoly guy. Oh, maybe we should have. No, no, no. Goldengo doesn't do much for us. 
Flodango doesn't do much for us. They go for a Shadow Ball. They got Shadow Ball and Bit of Malice, which is interesting. Nearly takes us out. Not quite enough to take us out, though. We could be Scarf for they know, so they might switch out, but I doubt it. Let's go for the Make It Rain, just in case they do. They go for another Shadow Ball. That's going to take us out, unfortunately, for us. Um, as down we go. So that's unfortunate, but what can you do about that? Now our best bet is to go in Sliverwing. Um, Sliverwing can handle this pretty well. So we'll go Sliverwing. We'll go Sliverwing. Um, best bet, really, I think. Maybe I shouldn't have sacked Goldengo. Maybe I should have gone for the Flamethrower on the Dragapult. Got this thing down to low enough HP where Azumarill could finish off with the Aqua Jet. That might have been better. And then we can first impression the King Gambit since it's only at half health. But... Terror bug. <laughs> but you know what? It is what it is. Let's first impression this thing instead. We'll Terror bug and we'll first impression. That's all I can think to do. All I can think to do is the Terror bug first impression. So... We'll go ahead and do that. There we go. First impression. Come through. Come through. Please take out the Zoroark. Please don't be Focus Sash. That's what we want. We don't want it to be Focus Sash. So first impression comes through. Um, it should KO. It doesn't KO because of the Focus Sash, unfortunately. It doesn't KO because of the Focus Sash. I should have broken this Focus Sash. Should have broke it. But we reveal it as a Zoroark, which is, you know, as we knew. Um, as they go for a bit of Malice, that's going to be able to take us out. No problem. Down Sliver Wing goes. So I think I made a mistake in this game. I think I should have gone for the Flamethrower with the Dragapult. Let the Dragapult go down. Finish this thing off with a Sliver Wing, with, with an Aqua Jet from the Azumarill. And then save the Sliver Wing to Terror Bug first impression, the King Gambit. And then we could have switched in Goldengo to sack off to the Roaring Moon. And then come back in with Sliver Wing and hope that first impression would have KO'd. But fortunately that's not how that's worked out for us. Um, so we're going to go into our Dragapult real quick. There we go. Dragapult comes in. Um, the reason I'm going into Dragapult here is because I kind of want to save the Aqua Jet on my Azumarill for the King Gambit and the Roaring Moon. So we'll go for a nice and powerful Flamethrower right now just to get the KO on this thing. There we go, Flamethrower comes through. And I think I think it's going to be close, but I think we may have lost this game. I don't like to I don't like to tell myself that I've lost before I've lost. But but. In comes Roaring Moon. All right, Roaring Moon's a fine one here. We could definitely get the KO on the Roaring Moon here. Let's go for it. Flamethrower comes through. Nearly gets the KO, which is unfortunate, as they go for a Dragon Claw, and that's going to take out Dragapult. So this is becoming closer and closer. So we've got three minutes left of the battle. Um, three minutes left of the battle. Let's go for the Azumarill switch, and hopefully we can live one Stealth Rocks. We can live one Stealth Rocks, yeah, no problem. We can live one Stealth Frogs, no problem. So let's go for the Aqua Jet. It's real quick. There we go. Aqua Jet comes through. Azumarill, will you pull it back for us? Can I? Can Azumarill pull this back for us? That's the real question. Can it pull it back? It depends. If they go for a Sucker Punch with the King Gambit, it'll fail because Aqua Jet will out-prioritize it. Um, which means we might be able to get off a second one. That all depends on my opponent, though. Depends on whether they're ballsy enough to click Sucker Punch or not. So King Gambit comes in. Supreme Overlord is going to boost it by... Times 1.5, I believe. Um, after five Pokemon have fainted. Best bet is Aqua Jet, so let's go for it. Let's go for the Aqua Jet. Let's see if they go for a Sucker Punch or not. Wow. Wow, that did nothing. Iron Head comes through. I suppose we could have gone for a Play Rough there, but I didn't want to. I, I suppose I should have done, just in case they didn't Sucker Punch, but it's whatever. So, we did lose that battle, unfortunately, to Random Adam. But it's absolutely fine, because I had fun doing it. It was a pretty fun game. He had a pretty interesting looking team. Um, he had the palm up with a revival blessing, and he had a whole team of shinies, which is always lovely to see. <laughs> you gotta love it, you gotta love it. So anyway, thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.